Hello and welcome to today's review and today it's Barefoot on the Cobbles, a Devon Tragedy by Janet Few. Now just imagine for a minute sitting next to Janet at school as she spreads out her amazing Technicolor pencil set across the desk. I mean you would feel intimidated as you set about creating your own world with a 2HB and some old blue crayon you found on the art room floor. Except that Janet is the type of person who would readily lend you her pencils, her knowledge, and even offer a blanket of warm encouragement to help you bring your characters into the full colour spectrum that a life deserves. For she can indeed bring the past to life. And even though brown, grey and charcoal dirt might best illustrate their harsh, humble homes, the children of Clavelli danced with fun and colour, barefoot on the cobbles as they dreamed of their own future in the world. With her sensitive hand and inquiring mind, she beautifully illustrates this true historical novel about real families. The arduous existence of a connected community fragmented by a tragedy and healed only by time and the daily tides that drag dark memories into the shadowy forgotten corners of cottages that still stand today. And we might perhaps cast judgment on those involved in this tragedy offer an opinion from our ample armchairs as we sit protected by a health and welfare service. Awash with amazing drugs and vaccines to banish all ills. But back then, life was hard. Women suffered, men struggled and children were lucky to stay alive, even with the best of intentions. This beautiful barefoot wander through the generations shows the delicate connections and relationships that continually shape the future and push us all forward whether we're ready to move or not. But it's no easy ride. You know, we get attached to some characters in here and there are some tough scenes. Young people, young characters like Daisy, whose eyes once sparkled with hope, ambition and wonder. And I particularly sympathise with the curious Mr Collins, crippled and confused by his own standing in a closed community. Interfering and impassioned, he pushes across the class divide, his determination condensed into his clumsy cry of, I've come to feed Daisy some egg and milk. Now, out of context, that might not seem a lot. I don't mean the egg and the milk, I mean what he says. But it summarises the feeling of the time and his inability to do anything useful or to, well, just be part of the community that he wants to be living in. It's very difficult sometimes in communities, but there we are. I really enjoyed this book. I enjoy Janet's writing. It's like she's a, I don't know, a 150-year-old lady who has experienced these, these events firsthand, who perhaps once walked those cobbles with her notepad in hand and has come back to report her findings in this sumptuous slice of social history. And perhaps these humble, hard-working folk who just did the best that they could might be surprised that anyone should be interested in, the, in their story, that anyone in the big scheme of things um, would consider that they mattered and should be remembered. And Clavelli is still the same, cobbled, cramped, creative and dominated by the sea, the community, and a painfully picturesque hill. 
There are many characters in this book that are laid to rest in the Clavelli churchyard and just as soon as lockdown is over I'm going over there to pay my respects to these people who have been beautifully coloured in by the pencils of the tremendous history interpreter Janet Few. There we are, barefoot on the cobbles, tremendous read, great for your holiday, think of holidays, buy this book and think of a holiday. In fact, go to Clavelli. You'll go to Clavelli having read this book and think, yeah, I know all about that. I'm part of this world. Uh, take your shoes off, go barefoot on those cobbles, see how painful that can be. Anyway, it is a great book. Enjoy. But more importantly, look up Janet. She's all over social media and everywhere. Just Google Janet Few. You'll find her. Get yourself a copy of this or you can, obviously there's lots of other places on the interweb where you can buy books or more importantly, get it from your bookshop. They're opening now, I believe, and you should be able to order and collect all that sort of thing from your bookshop or if you want to get it from the publishers at Blue Poppy Publishing in Ilfracombe. There we are. It's a great book. Add it to your little collection and read it on your holidays or any time. It's great. Thank you.